part of the process of creating that's the most exciting for me is just really to be in the element of creating, having nothing else that's important at that time, closing out the outside world and all of the all that goes on outside of, of the doors of your studio and being at one with what's in front of you and what you're creating and your mind and your energy and it's, it's you and the work and it's your mind and your passion and your heart pouring out onto that canvas which is a very special place to be. There's really no other place like it. My name is Kim Faella Fur, and I am a painter here in Pueblo, Colorado, and I am the founder and owner of Sage Art Academy. I created my whole life as long as I can remember. I came from a rather creative family. My father was quite creative and musical. I, as a child, would sketch and draw and wasn't really too much of an, a student per se, so I would take my backpack with all of my books and climb to the highest oak tree in the backyard and try to focus on doing my math and English, but instead I sketched. I have always been creating as long as I remember, and I've been lucky that I had a family that supported that. The act of painting comes from within. You know, I stand in front of a canvas, I create at the time with, with a stick, with my finger. I might throw powdered graphite at the canvas. And then of course textural, the thicker the better for me. I work very thick, very textural. I like to pull it off and put it on. It is just something that I have developed and that I enjoy. When I'm teaching with the kids, what I'm thinking about is, is educating them to the lesson of the day and having it be successful for them. So when they are creating, the process of creating is fun, but they leave proud. That's the most important thing for children and for adults alike, that they have learned something new or familiar at Sage and that they're able to take that piece, walk out the door, give it to their grandmother, give it to their father who hangs it in their office and says, look what I've made today. Look, look, I'm so proud of this. There's nothing more exciting and more important to me to teach but to instill a sense of pride in what they're, they're creating. Even though I firmly believe in teaching the, the, the classics like I was taught and the elements of art, line, color, perspective, value, I always encourage them to work from their heart, to work from what they feel that day. If they want to mix mediums, if they want to leave something out or add something, if they want to make their cheetah purple, that's great. That's what makes great art. So working with kids is a lot of fun. I learn a lot myself. Through, and through working with them, and it's fun and creative and productive thing that's happening here. What I hope people take away from my work is uh, a, a sense of being moved and inspired, and that they are attracted to it or it speaks to them so that they will leave and remember that piece and come back and say, wow, I love that piece uh, because of this, that, or the other thing, because of the color, because of the subject, because of the, the movement and line that they see in that piece. You know, again, ultimately, an artist is like everyone else. You want recognition and you're hoping that somebody is going to want that piece and enjoy that piece in their home. But that's not why we make work. We make work because it's what we know, it's what we breathe, it's what we live. It's what, what keeps us going to intimately pour out what's inside of us onto a public um, forum that can be enjoyed by others. 
So you want someone to be moved by your piece. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is made possible by Colorado Creative Industries, The Betcher Foundation, and the National Endowment for the Arts.